Hi, I'm Bob Boros, and this is my Jazz and Tap Dance Life. And we're here again today for another episode of Monday Maddox. Every Monday, I demonstrate one of the freestyle jazz dance technique exercises of the jazz dance legend, Matt Maddox. Um, I was fortunate to work with Matt for over 20 years. I know his technique pretty well, and so I'm happy to bring it to you um, here in this video format. Today's exercise will be a slight demi-plié with an arm port de bras, and then it goes into a head roll isolation. Um, the arm port de bras is kind of tricky, so we'll go over it slow. And you should also know that Matt normally gave a similar beginning of the exercise, but then often he would put different embellishments on the end. So what I'm going to do today is a very simple one with two head rolls and then a demi-plié and then push back to the starting position. Um, so here we go. This is a head roll isolation exercise from the freestyle jazz dance technique of Matt Maddox. Okay, here we are. We're starting with the toes together and the feet together, lifting up in the front of the body, pulling down in the tailbone, shoulders are dropped, arms are relaxed. We do not pop the arms out, they're just nice and relaxed. The first thing that we're going to do is a demi-plie, like compressing down a spring. One, two, and we fold the right arm in with the release of the hand so it's not stiff. One, two. Then on the next count, I'm going to shoot that arm up high, pull the shoulder back, and wrap the hand onto the hip and pull the elbow back. Now when I do this, my weight stays almost in the center, only slightly does it move to the side, but the side foot is in parallel with the heel down on the floor. So it's not a point, it's there, okay? So I'm gonna have one, two, then the arm shoots and I turn the palm forward, three, four. I have a slight rotation of the torso, shoulder back, wrap the elbow, three, four. I pull the arm in five, six, and I return seven, eight. The second time I repeat one, two, but this time I add a fold of the left arm. It's slightly open, so it's not to the front, and again, the hand is relaxed. And I come in and I press up. The third time, one, two, hit sharply on three. Now I'm going to switch the arms. Four, so this palm is forward, this palm is out. Pull both elbows down, five. I'm gonna push my forearms in, six, with a snapping motion, and then I'm gonna reverse that and snap down, seven, and come into second position, eight. Extending through the wrists, but relaxing the hands, holding the turnout, nice centered pelvis. So we get to there, okay? So let's just give that a try. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really on the count of three. Three, four, five, six, seven. Third time is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we get it sitting in second position with the relaxed wrist. Now on the head roll, what Matt would do would be pull his chin and think of your chin drawing a circle in front of your body. So this is not the normal head roll where you pull, roll your head to the back of your shoulders. This is just here just here, okay? So you get a side stretch as you go through this, <coughs> okay? So we get to here. Now I have two head rolls. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And it's tough. You gotta hold those ribs in, you gotta hold your turnout and not waver. From there, I'm gonna lift my heels and press forward, then drop into demi-plie. As I return, I'm gonna snap my legs back to parallel position, point, and close in, and that's it on one side. The left would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Second set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Third set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Head roll, two, three, four. Head roll, two, three, four. The heels, two, three, four, release, parallel, close. And on that parallel, I'm snapping the heel back. I'm turning on the ball of the foot to make that position happen and then close it, okay? So there's some very definite accents here. The slow compression, the sharp pop of the arm, then I relax out of it. So there's three different impulses. One, two, hit it sharp, relax out. Then one, two, three, these are sharp. Four, five, six, seven, eight, then hold it. Isolate the head, lift the heels, plie, and snap, and back in. 
Okay? That's a slow tempo. Once you have it down, usually this would follow the passe point, I'm sorry, the half toe and point exercise that we did a little bit early. So the tempo can be a little bit faster. So I'm going to pick it up for the second time. Okay? We have six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The head, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The heels, two, three, four, five. Parallel close. One, two, hit. And five, six, compress it down. One, two, hit. And five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The head, two, three, four. The head, two, three, four. Press, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's it. Um, after that, sometimes the embellishments might be a stretch to the side, plie, and come up. Or from here, we might go into that hip and do a head roll from there. So there's a couple different things that Matt would do, but you've got that there, okay? So that's a head roll isolation, starting with the demi-plie from the freestyle jazz dance technique of one of the legends of jazz dance, Matt Maddox. Thanks for watching today. I'm Bob Boros. This is my jazz and tap dance life. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. And also click the notifications bell so that you can get a uh, notification every time I put on a new video. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next Monday.